Chuck Fresh with Computer Care, and you might be like the average person. Do you use Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, plain old text messaging? Are you crazy? Are you aware that some knucklehead sitting at a desk somewhere can technically read all your messages? I know it's crazy, but it's true. Look, I don't know about you, but that's deeply disturbing, okay? Like, a few famous people you might have heard of over the past couple of days, or whenever you're watching this, like Edward Snowden, Jack Dorsey from Twitter, Elon Musk... People with things to hide are recommending that you switch to another messaging app. They're using something called Signal, and that's what this video is about. State-of-the-art end-to-end encryption powered by an open-source Signal protocol. Made by themselves. It keeps your conversation secure, which means it's... I'm not going to say it's impossible for somebody else to read it or subpoena it or find it, but it's going to be a lot more difficult for someone to... For some dude in the Philippines to be real, oh, look at this guy. He's talking about his stock recommendations. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you probably don't want other people to realize. I mean, maybe problems with a relationship or a business transaction or some secrets you really don't want other people to find out about. Signal supposedly is a solution because it offers end-to-end -end encryption that nobody can break or it's very difficult to break. You can make phone calls and video calls with this thing. Those are all encrypted as well. So every message, every call, every time. It's all in it. Like, make sure if you're using WhatsApp. I mean, a lot of people aren't familiar with WhatsApp, and they don't know that WhatsApp is actually owned by Facebook. And yeah, you know how Facebook collects information. That's how they make money. They sell information. That's really what they are. They're an information company. I mean, think they're just putting that stuff, your little pictures of your dogs, on Facebook for their own good? No, it's not a charity. It's a business, and that's how they make money. They sell information to advertisers and that's kind of how things happen in most social media circles. If you're not aware of that, I know a lot of people aren't aware of that, but that's how that all works. So, yeah, WhatsApp. A lot of people using WhatsApp thinking they're secure, they're encrypted. No, man, that stuff's being read by somebody at Facebook and collected and harvested, and God knows what they're doing with it. I don't know if they're doing anything bad with it, but it's still a little weird, right? And their latest privacy update saying, hey, we're going to do a little bit more data collecting. Just want to give you a heads up. Then nobody probably reads that information, so you probably weren't aware that they are going to change that policy. So Signal, on the other hand, they tend to fight a battle against anyone who asks for your data. So that's a good thing. They're trying to protect you, and they're constantly adding features that help anonymize you wherever possible. Try to hide your identity, and more importantly, hide whatever you're saying or sending to somebody that you don't want other eyes to see or other ears to hear. So Signal Messenger LLC... They're the software organization that, um, I guess they do the product development for Signal, co-founded and funded by a guy named Brian Acton, who actually was a co-founder of WhatsApp. So this guy knows what he's doing. He knows how the business works, and he's not happy with them at all. Okay, so they're actually a 501c3 nonprofit. They're open source, they're peer-reviewed, and funded entirely by grants and donations from people like you and me. So they're not tied to any major companies and they promise they won't be acquired by one either. You can um, share text messages, notes to yourself, uh, voice messages, photos, um, GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call them, and they're all free. They use your phones, either your data plan, if you have an unlimited plan, that's great, use that, or you can use Wi-Fi too. It avoids your phone's SMS and MMS. Some people are still actually getting charged for that in some parts of the country or parts of the world, believe it or not. So, yeah, you can avoid those fees by using this as a substitute for your phone's text messaging program. So, yeah, we've tested it, and the phone calls are super clear. The messages come through immediately. You can change your notifications, colors, all that personalization and fun stuff, all available in the Signal app itself. The video calls are very clear, too. And, again, you can use your data plan or your Wi-Fi if you're in a house or a place of business or work or Starbucks or McDonald's or whatever. So, But the brilliant thing about this, there's no ads, no trackers, no affiliate marketers, none of that craziness and none of that creepy tracking in Signal that WhatsApp and some of the bigger companies are doing right now. Ah, privacy. Remember that? Works on Androids, works on iPhones, and it even works on your PC. You can actually synchronize your PC with your phone. Once you set it, you have to set it up on your phone. You need a legitimate phone number to do it. And once you set it up on your phone, you can synchronize it with your PC. So if you misplace your phone or it's in another room, you can actually get your messages right on your computer screen. And that's pretty cool, too. That's pretty helpful. Some of the other apps do that too, but just thought it were, is worth mentioning. Um, if you're trying to get in now, it's uh, January 2021. I don't know when you're watching this, but.
But uh, Elon Musk put a tweet out yesterday, and the whole world's jumping on top of this and taking advantage of the opportunity. It's free, completely free to download, completely free to use. You are welcome to donate and sponsor this thing. Not sponsor, but donate to the cause because you can't sponsor it. But um, yeah, a lot of people trying to sign up. So be patient. If you can't jump in right now, give it a day or two, and they'll get their servers back up, and the demand will come down a little bit. And you'll be able to get in a little easier. So hang in there. Yeah, Signal, two thumbs up. I like it. We're using it here at our studios and our offices. Chuck Fresh out. Thanks for watching.